Yo, what is up guys? So today I'll be showing you the top 6 units you must have in Anime Adventures Update 6 and let's get right into it. Alrighty, oh so we're gonna start off strong with Booma. As you guys can see right here, Booma, you must have Booma on update 6 as you will be needing Moneymaker's unit. Especially another alternative would be Speed Card. But it isn't as good as Booma though, so make sure to try and get Booma and save up to 2,500 gems if you do not have VIP Game Pass. And but if you do, save up to 2,000 game, 2,000 gems. Yeah, alright. So let's go ahead and fully max Booma uh, so you guys can see the range of how much Bulma can do and if you do not own her, as I've said, go please get her. It will save you a bunch of time in your life and I'm not even capping, man. Alright, so that is the final upgrade as you guys saw the multiple of ranges that Bulma can do She doesn't even cost that much But do remember that when you own Bulma and you spawn her you can't sell her anymore But with speed cart you can sell them but with Bulma herself you can't actually sell her anymore And Bulma is really good overall but people say that she's only good at infinite modes but Overall, people use her everywhere anyway, so yeah, so that is the first unit that you must have. The next unit we will be needing, which is Megumu Chimera Shadow, which is the evolved version of Megumu. And as you guys see it right here, you see him right there. Alright, let's see on how many we can spawn. I'm pretty sure we can spawn in four. And why I have picked Megumu Chimera Shadow, as he applies the curse debuff, which increases damages on enemies by 15%, which is valuable, especially when the new maps having so much health. Not owning Megumi, Megumu Chimera Shadow will definitely give you a boost on the game and smoothly grind on anime adventures so make sure you own him guys as i'll show you now the multiple upgrades that you can do and amazing pretty nice so i'll summon is his upgrade four all right let's go and see he looks pretty cool by the way but let's just continue upgrading well let's look at the awesome oh i don't even have the vfx on that's so ugly Alright, now we're gonna see. Look at that owl. Hey, pretty sick. I know, right? And then on upgrade 8, he will then get the brand new ability called Shadow Garden. And so far, that is his damage and cooldown. But do remember that he is level 82. But you guys do not see the tab right now because it's all black. Because I don't want anyone to know what you what units you must have. Alright, so that's it. And finally, this, this will be the last upgrade. And it costs a lot, like it costs a fortune, but he is definitely a must-have as it is on the list, so do remember that. So bringing Bulma will be, especially with this unit too, like all of the units will I'm gonna be mentioning will cost a lot to upgrade, so, so Bulma being the first one to be mentioned is the top priority to have. Alright, so we've mentioned Megumu and Bulma, and the next one that you must have, which is Kent. One of the reasons are, because he's limited, that's one. As well as, he is the most amazing scaling unit out there in anime adventure so far. As you guys can see right here, 50% critical damage, which is a lot, by the way, because it halves, basically halves the damage of whatever that damage is. And as you guys saw right there, whenever a wave finishes, he buffs himself, which is amazing and once you do evolve him from mythic he will turn into a secret which the next update he will actually get a cosmetic so make sure to get him before that i have made video of showing kent over time so make sure to check that video out as i have shown on how to evolve him and and showcase so make sure to look at that link down description down below but regardless i'm just gonna you know show you guys the upgrade here anyway so look at that precision slash let's go and see so you can only spawn in four of Kent Overtime. Alright, pretty cool. Now let's go and continue upgrading. Uh, Collapse is his brand new ability. 
And look at that. It actually it looks pretty nice. In my opinion, Kent Overtime is also better than Valkyrie Erza, Ezra, actually. Despite of the both of the units having 50% crit, with Kent Overtime being able to buff himself by 1% every finish wave, which scales in the late game. So that is why Valkyrie Ezra is not here. Instead, it is Kent. A lot of people argue that Kent is terrible, but I'm telling you guys, he's amazing. Like, he is just a scaling unit, and I don't think anyone is as good at scaling as Kent. And let's go ahead and go to the next must-have unit. Alright, so the next must-have unit is Ital Doriki, which is surprising to many of you all, as I have made a showcase on this mythic, new mythic unit, and I've said that it is a terrible unit, and I do back out my words because it was level 1, so it does suck. But as you guys can see right here, Itadoki is a brand new mythic unit, which you can actually evolve in the next update. So make sure to get him now. On upgrade 3, he'll be getting the ability called Divergent Slam. So let's take a look at this. You can only spawn 4 of Itadoki, so do remember that. And that's his cooldown, strength, and range. Pretty nice. And oh, look at that. Divergent Black Flash. Let's take a look at this, guys. Oh, you can see that the animation differed. And oh, yeah, see guys, that's amazing. Moving on to the next must have unit on update 6. And who would have guessed it would be drum roll? Okay, we're not gonna drum roll. It would be Goju 6 Eyes. With Goju 6 Eyes having the ability to freeze units with no upgrades. Already makes Goju 6 Eyes valuable to have and must have on update 6. The units that are in his unlimited void, as you guys can see right there. He will deal plus 100% damage self buff for 8.5 seconds along with the global freeze for 8.5 seconds. I know, pretty insane. There's also a feature within him when you evolve him into 6 eyes as you guys can see I have evolved him. When you evolve into 6 eyes there will be a limitless upgrade which will let you infinitely upgrade him by talking to the Goju NPC and giving him 6 eyes for every limitless upgrade for his upgrade is by 1. So make sure to watch my showcase video which is previously of this video so make sure to watch that which is linked down the description down below. So let you guys all know that why Goju 6 eyes is a must have unit as you guys can see right there unlimited voice. And look at that it froze everything it froze which is the best unit out there and it lasts for 60 seconds The cooldown actually lasts for 60 seconds not the um the freezing it only lasts 8.5 seconds the freezing and let's go to uh, Upgrade him and on upgrade 3 he will gain the ability called reversal red So let's go ahead and see what this will look like Looks pretty nice. All right now Let's go and continue upgrading him and the next upgrade upgrade 6 he will get the hollow purple, which is this one is the line one, which I actually love. So if you don't know how Coyote, I recommend having, you know, Goju six eyes. But overall, if you had to pick between Goju or Coyote, Goju is the must have. You can literally upgrade his limitless upgrade. So right now, as you guys can see, he will be doing more damage as he would. And by the way, as the time I'm recording this video again, he is level 63 so do remember that and all right so let's go ahead and sell all of these and finally you guys are all been waiting for on who is the sixth unit and it would be erza lightning and why i actually picked herself because there isn't actually any heal or hybrid unit in this jujutsu kaisen update 6 that are worth mentioning so do keep in mind that having a heal unit will be a valuable as they're constantly air opponents so bringing airs of lightning will be good on this especially airs of lightning does 50k damage as you guys i'll show you guys on he does she does 50k damage look at that and she does have the superior two or yes superior one or two it's uh, as you guys can see right there you can finally see the screen it is the blue muscular trait which when you have that trait 50k easy damage, which is quite insane, but I do recommend if you guys do have enough rerolls, I recommend getting the god speed because if she has god speed, she's just gonna she's literally just gonna be on a rampage and unstoppable. So make sure to save up Robux or save up Star Remnants or keep rolling until you get the god speed because 
it's gonna be a really overpower on Erza Lightning as it is the best Erza form and make sure to get her before it is too late as she is going off sale next week. I'll see you now. Goodbye everyone. I love you. Goodbye.